some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey everyone, welcome back to Board Names Unlocked, and today I'm doing a no run through review for the Spider Ham Hero Pack of Marvel Champions. Now, this character is extremely interesting because it was announced on April 1st, and Obviously, that is April Fool's Day, so everyone thought it was a joke, and lo and behold, it was not. This is a fully fleshed out character that you can purchase and play in Marvel Champions. Uh, does it play well? Um, to be honest, he is not my favorite. He, he works, uh, I mean, pretty well, actually. Like, I'm not going to say that he's, like, a bad uh, character. In fact... Uh, I have heard some people think that he is broken, especially, and I can definitely see him being completely disgusting if you were to actually deck construct with him. And if you're not aware, all of these reviews for all the characters of Marvel Champions is, uh, I, I always review them on their pre con So what you purchase, like what you buy in this pack, um, if you were to open it and play it. Now, he has a lot of things going for him, and it's... It's wacky. I mean, clearly, he is a pig version of Spider-Man. You see him in the Spider-Man Into the Multiverse, or, uh, yeah, I think that's what it was called. And he's kind of there, but it'd be, and you definitely get his gimmick in this, in this, uh, deck. So, he fully feels like the character, uh, so maybe I just don't get it. It's something that I'm just like, what? But let me, let me go ahead and give you an example. Uh, well, first, let's talk about his character. So, Peter Porker, uh, cartoon... Power, uh, after you make a basic recovery, place one toon counter on Peter Porker. Well, what is a toon counter, you might ask? Well, that is basically a wild resource. And as you can tell, he has five recovery. That is massive. I, Off the top of my head, I cannot think of anyone who has that high of a recovery. Uh, and his health isn't bad. It's 12 with a hand size of 6, so that's pretty good. And you'll see why this five recovery is very good. He is... I, I will say, out of all the decks I've played, he is one of the ones that seems the most versatile, where you want to use a lot of the other cards in his deck instead of his own. But his own definitely makes you want to use those, and I'll explain that in a sec. So, then we flip him over, and then we have, of course, Spider Ham, with two thwart, one attack, one defense. So very weak, sure, whatever. Uh, but each tune counter on Spider Ham can be spent as if it were a wild resource. And then he has Spider Nonsense. Uh, after Spider Ham takes any amount of damage, place one tune counter on him. So, uh, if there was a way you could build him, I believe there are cards where you might be able to ping yourself for like a damage, he would be astronomically disgusting. So, I mean, you might be thinking, oh, well, you have to get hurt to be able to actually you know generate those resources well not not entirely true but generally yes but because of his five recovery you're willing to take that damage but let's go ahead and uh, showcase some of his cards and this is where he has multiples of these and this is where you are going to start seeing the gimmick of this character and you might be a player that likes this you might be a player that doesn't if i'm drunk then i might enjoy it uh or if i'm into some weird goofy wacky mood then i might but uh, let me just go ahead and show you. So he has a card called Cartoon Physics, uh, where it says, When your identity would take any amount of damage, discard this. Wiggle your body and prevent all but one damage. So, yes, this is definitely one of those game, one of those characters where you have to act a little bit. You have to be a little weird whenever you're playing him instead of being meticulous. Could be a lot of fun. Hand it to maybe a younger, you know, a, a child or something. They might have a lot of fun doing it. So you have to be like, and then you only take one damage, which, as I said, you take one damage, any amount of damage, you get a uh, wild resource. And he has multiples of these in his deck. I only pull out one, but you can, and it's not unique or anything. There's not like asterisks around it. So you can have all of them out and just entice him. And you might be thinking, oh, why would you entice him? Like, why would you, how could you do that? Well, that would be with Petulant Pig. Uh, hero action. Stick your tongue out at the villain. The villain attacks you. Then draw three cards. So, mm, and then he attacks you. So you do all that. Take the damage. Or use cartoon physics. Still taking the damage, but only one. And then you get to draw three cards. He, out of all the characters I have played, he I have never had a larger hand size than pl playing with him. Like, the cards I have that are all right here to showcase, 
that's how much I pretty much had uh, at, at some point whenever I was playing him, was just a shit ton of cards. Maybe not this many, but probably 12, like 12, 10 to 12 cards in my hand, which is insane. You're basically just giving free reign. He feels like almost like a blue magic deck where it's like, no, 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 villain. You don't get to play anymore because I'm going to play. And I can't imagine if you were actually playing with someone else and they were like, do I get to do anything? You're like, no, I'm, I'm drawing a shit ton of cards. Because not only do you have a way to draw three cards, which is huge, by the way, with Petulant Pig, this is actually a justice card, but it is in this deck called One Way or Another. Uh, yeah. Uh, which is uh, max one per round, so search the uh, encounter deck for a side scheme, reveal that side scheme, then draw three cards. So, and these these cost free, but or these cost free. These are free, by the way. So you just get attacked, get a side scheme out. You're drawing six cards. Um, I mean, if you played these two, then that would be uh, if you had a hand size of six, that would be four out of your uh, out of your opening six. So you would have ten cards in your hand. Uh, so there is that. And for the record, he has multiple petulant pigs. So the one way or another, he has a, he has multiples of, but. Um, the Petulant Pig, he has one, one more. Okay, so you can play both of those in one round if you happen to draw them. So, then he has, uh, I mean, he's, he's basically a really good threat removal. He doesn't do a lot of damage, so, and this is what I was saying, where he's, he wasn't my favorite. He could do a lot of stuff, and I usually love card draw, but... It was card draw for the sake of card draw. I never felt like I was doing anything really cool with the cards I was getting. And at the end of the day, it still took a shit ton just to do a lot of damage. And uh, I'll kind of explain that right now. So, well, also for the record, he has the Daily Beagle, which is, uh, that's his alter ego action. So that just, you can exhaust it to get a tune counter on him. So... And they don't go away when you flip between the two. So that one, you can just, when you go into his alter ego and you heal, then you can also exhaust, you get two two encounters. Uh, so there's that. But another way that he can do a lot of damage is with his huge wooden hammer. Uh, he gets plus one attack, and then whenever he makes a basic attack, you can exhaust that and spend a two encounter to give it plus two and overkill. So that does give him three attack, which is not nothing. But... Like I said, he doesn't do a whole lot of damage on his own turn. Uh, let's see. So I am going to set those aside for right now because uh, his big, his like, well, he has something called, and more of his uh, his uh, gimmick is you can play, I don't think so. I don't know his voice, but uh, when you reveal a card from the encounter deck, you remove a tomb counter from Spider-Ham, say, I don't think so in your best spider ham voice and you cancel the effects of that card and discard it really cool you just have to do that kind of voice acting for a little bit i don't remember his voice i've seen that one the the into the spider verse movie once then you have are you guys still seeing all that cool then you have hogwash hogwash is remove one tune counter from spider ham loudly read this card's flavor text and choose to either deal five damage to a minion or remove five threat from a side scheme so, pow, bam, whack, smack, boink. So that is that. And that's really all the cards that uh, make you do some weird, silly stuff. Uh, the rest of the cards are, are serious. But, um, so, I mean, he has ways, which is actually kind of cool, of dealing with the issues. Besides, I mean, Petulant Pig, you stick your tongue out, get attacked. You can use your uh, cartoon physics to take one damage. Uh, to draw three cards one way or another side scheme you can then do hogwashed to remove all threat from that side scheme if it comes out so i like the fact that you can basically get three cards for free and then uh his big heavy hitter one is swinging web pig and it's a hero action deal six damage to an enemy and you also confuse that enemy so he has two of these in his deck, so 12 damage, that's not nothing. And you might think, well, that costs a lot, because most of his cards don't. Well, you have a shit ton of cards in hand that can spend for that. And you have multiple ways to get two encounters, which you could just save up, and then therefore just make everything free. Not everything, but... Because, I mean, he doesn't have the best two encounter generation, but he has enough to where you can just spend those 
and make them free. Oh wait, no, I forgot. He has other ways to actually make things very, very cheap. Team building exercise. Now this costs two. You exhaust team building exercise to play a card from your hand that shares a trait with your hero, reducing its resource cost by one. And his, his traits are cartoon and web warrior. And then the other side is cartoon and civilian. A lot of his cards are cartoon and web warrior. Like he has, and, and he's very team centric, almost like a, cause it's justice. And it's, it's almost like a leadership deck at the same time because he wants a lot of allies and he has tons of ways of getting them because he has three total team building exercise cards in in his deck and you can have multiples of those out so t you can have three team building exercises and then just spend those to be able to make something free so those are a lot of the cards that i wanted to focus on but like i said he's versatile with his other cards normally you're doing whatever aspect is in there at least for me a few times but you focus on the actual characters cards uh but he has four allies i think it was just four uh in his deck that are very easy to get out uh sorry five but i didn't really um <laughs> i didn't really care about uh about that one. These were the ones I thought were uh, pretty handy. So you have Spider-Man, of course. Uh, when, after Spider-Man enters play, remove a threat from a scheme for each web warrior card you control, including Spider-Man. Well, he's a web warrior. Spider-Man's a web warrior. Uh, you have Spider, or Sp Sp-Der. Uh, you can only play if you control a web warrior, which is Spider-Ham. So when defeated, you can add him back to your hand if he was defeated by taking excess consequential damage. So it's not bad. You can have him just attack for one damage, to then take one, and then have him thwart another time just to get him out back for free. You have Lady Spider. After she uh, thwarts and removes threat from a scheme, if you control another web warrior, you remove an equal amount of threat from a different scheme. That's very, very good. And then you have Captain America. After Captain America enters play, give someone a high five. Oh, I guess I forgot about him. So you, yeah, if you play solo like me. Uh, place one tune counter on your identity and shuffle one spider ham card from your discard pile into your deck. So that that's pretty much a lot of a lot of his cards. And like I said, uh, with the team building exercise, and since these are all web warriors except for the Captain America, which is cartoon, but he's a cartoon. Team building exercises makes all these cheaper. Uh, you have a bunch of cards in your hand that allows you to. You spend to be able to pay for them if you want to get a bunch of allies out and then you will also have tomb counters to be able to spend for any of these so it's n not theoretically uh or it's theoretically probable that you could actually go through a majority of your deck if you're drawing into the uh the cards that are um that that let you draw Scarlet Spider is interesting. When you reveal uh, an encounter type or an encounter card, name a card type, then look at that card. If that card is of the name type, deal one damage to Scarlet Spider and draw a card. So, I mean, he costs four, but he does, he has four health, so not horrible. And once again, the cost up at the top, that is the most expensive one, is four for Scarlet Spider and Lady Spider. And you just make them way cheaper anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um... Yeah, it was weird. Uh, every time I've played him, I've just never felt like I was in any sense of danger. I always had the health to do it. and But I also never felt really cool playing him. I felt weird, uh, especially because I was playing it by myself. So I didn't technically have to do it. But I was like, you know what? I'll just get into the theme of Spider-Ham. And then I'll whoop on whoever I'm playing against. I'll whoop their ass because I'm just playing and they're not. So he's okay. Like, he's not the worst I've played, but he's definitely not my favorite. So, let's see how much damage you could theoretically do. So, before I do that, let's just see. I always try to do this off the top of my head for best case scenario of damage. How much damage you can do. So, if you were to be able to play one way or another. Let's say you had your six cards. Then you played one way or another. That would be... Um, that you would go down to five, you would draw three, that would be eight. You play Petulant Pig, 
which would then uh, drop you down to seven, but you draw three, so you're at 10. And then you play another Pendulous Pig, that would drop you down to nine, but then you draw three, so that would be 12. So that would be 12 cards you have into your uh, opening hand. So let's see. Uh, let's, I mean, man, and you could easily just build up over time. So you could theoretically have your wood, huge wooden hammer. You could have played one way or another in Petula Pig twice. So if those were gone, have your, you know, your millions of team building exercises to make things, to make things free. Uh, he's a little weird. He's a, he's a weird one to actually do. You're actually, you're attacked twice, but let's say previously you healed and you had your daily beagle. So let's say you have four, um, counters. So you have four counters. I mean, man, you could even, <laughs> you could even play Captain America to then put a, um, put a petulant pig in, from your discard pile into your deck and then get lucky enough to draw into it again. So you could have, let's say 12, 11, you could have 14 cards if you got, uh, if you got that lucky. So let's see. All right. So that's one I didn't really talk about. 14 potential cards. And so there's that, that. Uh, and pff, man, he doesn't really, like I said, he doesn't really do a whole lot of damage. Um, okay. Let's say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, 9, 10, 11, 12, so 3. All right, let's say that you wanted to bring in all your spider people to come help. So you could spend... Uh, you could spend two team-building exercises uh, to bring in spider for free. You could then spend uh, 1, 2, 3, 4 to bring out Lady Spider. Um... You could then spend one, two, three to bring out Captain America. Um, and then that would give you another two encounter. So then four, five, and then you spend another card to bring out Spider Man. And then I think, yeah, if you wanted to do that, how many cards did I say? That's also if you had, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, four, oh no, I did 12. Um, okay. So, I mean, in all reality, best case scenario is you just have these guys come out. Uh, you like, you burn, you burn all your cards to get them out just to have the team, and then you wait your next turn to be able to, you do a I don't think so, or whatever, to be able to cancel whatever effect that might have, it might damage you. So then you get all these out, you have your hand open again, and because he removes threat from a scheme for each web warrior you control, including Spider-Man, so you could realistically uh, have Spider-Ham come out. Oh, this is actually pretty cool, because yeah, you do followed, Followed allows you to attach this to a side scheme, and when si uh, attached side scheme is defeated, deal four damage to an enemy. So if you attach this to like a side scheme that you pulled out from one way or another, uh, and then you play these four and then bring out Spider-Man, which would probably remove the side scheme, you then deal four damage to an enemy. So we will count that as four. So you have four right there. Um... Not hogwashed. Hogwashed doesn't help us. And if we're trying to attack the, uh, if we're trying to attack the main villain, so four, you do team building exercise to make swinging web pig uh, free. So that would be six. So that's ten damage. You then play out, you know, discard your hand to play another swinging web pig uh, to deal another six. So that'd be sixteen damage. Then you have spider ham attack. 
and you do huge wooden hammer, uh, spending a tune counter, so that would be three, so 16, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27 damage. And, I mean, man, you could even do more if you had another if you set up another followed on another side scheme that you drew from a, a previous one way or another and you're just setting all this up so you just play one way or another on one turn do another one way or another on another turn not only are you drawing a shit ton of cards that way uh you say 27 if you did if you got rid of both those side schemes that would be 31 damage um yeah 30, oh, wait, there's another followed, so you could potentially do 35 damage. And, uh, and yeah, because he also has great responsibility, which is free in its event. When any amount of threat would be placed, you take it as damage instead. So if you're playing against someone like Rhino or something, and he only does one scheme, you can just take that as a damage, and then, hey, you got another, uh, you got another tomb counter. So, yeah. That's uh, 30, potentially 35 damage if everything were to go super uh, disgusting. And all at the same time, you just you have all these allies out that are pretty much just buffers. And if anything has overkill, you just have one of them take the damage and then take it. And then you take the remainder as damage to then get more tune counter. So you just, you could pile up a bunch and just make a lot of cards free. Whenever, uh, the, the game I just played with him, uh, my two swinging web pigs were free. Like, I had five counters on me, and then my three team building exercises, so I spent all those on that, because it shares uh, a thing, so cartoon and cartoon, and then spent three of those to be able to deal 12 damage, which is, if you're, when you're playing solo, that's virtually a, a phase. Um, so yeah, like I said, he, he can be cool, and, and laying all this out uh, feels really neat. It does feel thematic to the character, because even in the, the movie Into the Spider-Verse, he showed up with a bunch of his other Spider-Man friends, and uh, that's what this... I mean, these are all radically different Spider-Men. So you have the... Uh, yeah, the... Is that one the Peter... Peter Prab... Uh, 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 Paviter Prabhakar? Uh, than all these other sp uh, spider uh, people, which is really neat. I like the fact that, yeah, you have Spider-Man, then Spider, then Lady Spider, Captain America, and Scarlet Spider. I think that's really neat. And man, with the, uh, what was it called? Sinister Six one, you have almost every single, you have Spider-Ham, Spider, Spider-Man, Spider uh, Gwen, or uh, uh, Ghost Spider, and then Spider-Man Miles Morales. So you have a lot of versions of Spider-Man, which I think is really neat. On a scale of 1 to 10, I think I'm going to give Spider-Ham a 6. He's slightly above average for me. He's not my favorite. Like, I wasn't... It's, it's super weird. I feel like I, I should have liked him, but... I don't know. It just it didn't it didn't just click for me. I, I felt like I had a bunch of cards, but I was using them only as resources, and I didn't really like a lot of the cards in my hand um, to be able to be like, oh, I can do this, which allows me to do this and play all these and boom, boom, boom. Uh, could just be I'm not the biggest fan of the character, which would be for a lot of this. I could see someone really liking him. I could see a disgusting deck build for him. It would I really can uh, to where basically you just never have a never ending turn i could definitely see that and i would if if that exists that would be really cool to actually see executed uh i think he's slightly above average though he's not my least favorite but i'm not going to be too keen to go out and play him but that's my thoughts let me know what you think of spider ham in the comments below other than that like comment share and subscribe and have a wonderful whatever time of day it is for you Hey everyone, thank you for watching and I really hope that you enjoyed the video. If you would like to see more of my content, go ahead and click that subscribe button and the bell to be notified whenever I upload any new content. If you feel like supporting the channel, you can go ahead and click that Patreon link to be taken to my Patreon and any help is truly appreciated. Other than that, stick around for any, any other run-throughs or reviews or cool top tens or whatever I feel like putting on. Other than that, like, comment, share, and subscribe and have a wonderful whatever time of day it is for you.